afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are checking out a game called Skyride. Uh, Skyride was actually provided to me by as a code for the game to try it out. The guys behind it, Mutan Inc. Um, I've played a few games of this. I can understand why some people may have issues with this game, but this is an example of something kind of cool. One note does one thing particularly interesting and well, and has some gorgeous artwork, as you can see. I mean, I actually like the design and artwork that's behind this game, but it is it is a Unity proof of concept kind of thing for like an arena shooter. I mean, as you can notice, I'm actually playing the game right now, <laughs> even though we're only on the menu screen. So obviously it is a old style, kind of like get your high score on the scoreboard, compare and compete against your friends. One room, one level, one kind of battle, that uh, is set in this one space. So let's take a wee look at how the gameplay goes. So I just start right into combat. <laughs> like, I, like the game just starts right into combat from, uh, there we go, from the actual main menu screen. I'm just flying around, I'm in this arena. There's shit appearing. I need to actually find enemies to shoot. Uh, there they are coming from somewhere, there we go. Uh, that's one thing that annoys me about this is its camera system is a bit, not wonky, but you'd think a lot of the gameplay is gonna be spent shooting from behind like shooting from a, a spot behind your vehicle where you're constantly kind of like running and moving away from enemies in their little hordes that they have around here but the um yeah the <laughs> the arena looks nice it's well cootered there's a lot of stuff in here um problem is you can't see a lot of things that you're actually bumping into while you're bumping into them all right let's see i'm gonna have to start using some missiles here to actually do some damage this is, that'll actually get these guys off my back a little bit faster. Come on. All right. Start blowing off some set. That's what your job is to do. It's that snap camera that whenever you sometimes boost forward, it'll actually rotate your camera around on you and you've lost track of your target that you're trying to shoot at. It's a bit, um, it's a bit naff, to be honest. It's a bit annoying. Let's see if we can get a few more of these guys all gathered together. Essentially, you're pipe pipering them around the arena and, uh, making use of the fact that they kind of just bounce around in a pile or a pack. I'm obviously going to get my ass beat here quite a lot, but I'm hoping to actually get at least to the point where, yes, there's that thing appearing. Larger enemies will appear. These kind of like, um, what appear to be essentially uh, dr larger drones compared to these smaller little box ones. And they'll do a lot more damage on you if you're not paying attention to them. Oh, I need to pick up some items here and stuff. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. You have mini bosses that appear, of course, like this bad boy here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I walked straight into that one. But um, you obviously tend to change your weapons and try to actually attack him with different things. Uh, ba -ba -bam. I'm trying to actually hit him with these. Damage. It's like lasers are doing that, but I want to actually do something else. There we go. Uh, there we go. That's what we want. These big bombs. And of course, he's got a weak spot in the center of his chest. If you want to be aiming at Boom! And down he goes. And of course, you can't catch all of the health and items that are powering from that. Right, so. <laughs> You've kind of got the basic premise of the gameplay, showing you one of the bosses, the basic uh, enemy types that pop up here. You can see the wee cavalcade of them are reappearing now. They're coming in through their wee gate. <laughs> Die, you bitches! If I can just kind of catch them as they come out of there, it makes it so much easier. Die, 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 die. Oh, shit, that was a beam. Didn't mean to use the beam. Oh! Need to move, need to move, need to move. Pull them around after me. So, um, yeah, obviously, I have played a few rounds of this. I haven't beaten anybody's big scores from online yet. I'm just kind of, like, getting into it myself. But uh, it, it's fun for what it is. It is a three-dimensional Space Invaders with um, a little bit of uh, maneuverability and camera issues. But, oh, there we go again. There's that goddamn um, flick around that drives me around the bend. It's not bad. Hey, that's more like it. <laughs> See, I am not making much ammo here. All right, there we go. If I could just skid around a wee bit and pick up some ammo and health, I can survive a little bit longer. The, uh, it's Space Invaders by way of, say, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of actually, like, some, like, uh, it almost like playing. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Hopefully, I can get it through a bunch of these guys. Yep. 
it's by way of like uh, do you know, like the land speeder bikes from Star Wars? Do you know, it's, it's like a dream, but uh, it's a mild nightmare at the same time. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> yep, come on, get out of the way, guys. <laughs> Oh, there's of course the reason why I'm getting my ass beat now because there's uh, more enemies. So you got that guy. Um, it's by way of uh, like a land speeder bike with um, a Space Invaders kind of arena thing going on. Oh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I was figuring that was going to happen. So, uh, this is exactly what Skyride is. I love the concept, I love the idea of it actually being like an arena shooter. I would like to have seen possibly like versus combat in this or a cooperative play, but you, I can't. You can't complain about a game that does one thing reasonably well. Uh, a little fix, uh, just a reference and a fix that I would actually recommend for it would be stopping the camera snap, um, making the camera move a little bit more freely and easily. This could very, very easily as a game be turned across to say a VR game. Can you imagine perspective dropping into the actual like pallet seat while you maneuver around? It would be extremely disorientating, but it would be like Descent or uh, a couple of those other games like I was at uh, sub, -zero, sub Level Zero that I played really recently. It could be super entertaining to move through this kind of space. Um, Another thing is, I didn't show you in this particular video, but while I was playing myself, that, that there is invisible walls all around this arena, so you don't really get to go any further than what you can see. Um, I stay in that one spot mostly because it's a good way to corral them around that single pool, but um, the enemies appear out of nowhere just out of invisible walls. So for a post-apocalyptic sky bikes, cool, sporty, kind of like versus game, I have no qualms with it, but it, it, it's extremely limited in its scope. And that's probably fine. Some games aren't designed to actually be big, massive open world lunacies. But I'd love to see this game and this concept applied into another game sometime soon. Can you imagine, like, say, the combat in this being sliced across to, like, an arena shooter Panzer Dragoon game? Like, Sega, guys, come on. Grab the guy who made this and actually get him to do something with Panzer Dragoon. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. It's like, nice big arena with dragons fighting against each other with this aerial shooting. This seems to be a good place as any to actually put it into. So guys, uh, check out Mutan Inc. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find them on the Twitter link that's actually attached to this. The guy doesn't, uh, I don't think his, uh, his Twitter is in English, but you can follow the development of Skyride if you want to further and see other games and things he has developed. Now, uh, thank you very much for watching. This has been a cold open for Pastiche of Skin here on the channel. And uh, if you liked what I was chatting about and you like this game and you like seeing more stuff like this, some games we just probably will never see them otherwise, hit the subscribe button up here at the top. It'll allow you to see every video as it comes out here on the channel. And over here on the side, you can actually, of course, check out episodes of Cold Open. You can check out the most recent episodes that actually come out here on the channel. And way over there, be the best recommended for you, specifically as a user, based on your previous search references. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.